Behind me is 2024 Toyota Supra, 45th anniversary edition, GR. And today I'm gonna show you what can you do with 85 millimeter lens. Personally, this is my favorite focal length, except the 35 mil, as you can see in this video, or in this video somewhere right over here. And the reason being is the compression that this lens produces. So your subject and your background gets way, way, way closer to each other, which makes it look nicer, especially with a car like Toyota Supra that is sort of shaped like a bubble in some way. That might be beneficial. So let's just see what angles can you pick with 85 millimeter. The only inconvenience that it might present is the fact that I need to stand far away from my object just to be able to fit it all in the frame. We'll start just clicking the pictures just like that. Maybe we'll go a little bit lower and get a really nice close to the ground shot. Most importantly, most importantly, that's something that you have to remember at all the time. The fact that you do need a CPL filter or our polarizer filter. As Andrew told you in this video, a CPL filter helps you to remove unwanted reflections from the car surfaces. But when it comes to close-ups, your job is way easier. Well, simply because when it comes to 85 millimeter, everything really looks nice. When it comes to interior, well, that might be tricky, especially with a car like Toyota Supra when everything is so cramped inside. Uh, you might need to be creative about your angles. So 85 would be really good for any sort of close-ups and detail shots. However, do not expect to try to get even like a wider or medium close-up shot. Well, and that's about it for this video. Unfortunately, we do not have a lot of time with this Supra. Without that being said, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.